Mental illnesses have been recognized for a long time, but the severity and realness of mental health issues hardly resonates with many people these days. Mental illnesses are not necessarily visible, and in many cases, they are completely unnoticeable from the outside. However, brain scans can reveal the type and or presence of mental illnesses, among other things. PET scans are able to show diseases in the body, including brain and mental disorders. PET scan, or positron emission tomography, is a type of scan that uses a type of dye and radioactive tracers, which are then absorbed by your body. The chemicals that correlate with positive feelings, such as dopamine and serotonin, have seemingly been the causes of many mental illnesses. For example, a lack of a certain chemical which affects the mood can cause depression, and an interruption of chemical messengers, or neurotransmitters, which deliver messages in the brain, can affect a person's mental health. According to BeBrainFit.com, playing music with other people or hearing live music stimulates oxytocin in the brain. Oxytocin is responsible for trust and morality, as well as possibly enhancing the pleasure of social interactions, which is important for communication between people with Alzheimer's, for example, as people with the condition tend to lose conversation skills and may become mute. Oxytocin is a neurotransmitter directly related with communication, and it strengthens openness. The visible impact of music therapy on patients with Alzheimer's is due to the music getting through to a patient in a way other methods cannot. Music can do things which language can't. When I learned that maybe more than 90 percent of a uh, resident's time is spent idle. Um, so let's try this and see what difference the uh, iPods would make. I have one resident that barely opened her eyes. She didn't respond. Nothing worked. It was amazing once we put the iPod on her. She started shaking her feet, getting all off. <laughs> I'm seeing her all over again. I'm going to take the music for one second, okay? Just to ask you a few questions. Okay? Yes or no questions. What, what does music do, do to you? It gives me the feeling of love. No, no man, figure right now the world need to come into music singing. You got beautiful music in. Beautiful, oh, lovely. And uh, I feel the band of love, the dream. A music therapy with Alzheimer's patients, something very powerful and primal is at work. This hard part keeps me happy. It keeps me from crying. And when I'm upset, all I have to do is take out my music and it soothes my nerves and I go fast asleep.